So I just finished the uh, magnetic arm mods uh, by a guy by the name of uh, Zaron. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, he's in Pound Rep Rap and Pound C Me CNC on uh, Freenode IRC. Uh, but what he did was, is he made this cool idea for using uh, um, magnetic, uh, basically uh, really high powered. Um, uh, neodymium magnets uh, with chrome ball bearings. You can see the chrome ball bearings there. And that is to replace this pile of junk. No offense, John. But uh, I'm not a big fan of these U-joints. They're just... They're, they're, you had to sand them for, hour, for hours to get them to fit nicely without too much basically backlash in them. Um, and it's just... It's unnecessary. This is, this is so much better. Uh, the coolest part about this is these things literally just detach and so if you wanted to take this whole unit off and replace it with a pin plotter or even I guess in theory uh, light CNC or even pick and place or something like that it would be absolutely nothing to take this off uh, you just, the filament has a push to connect or a PTC connector and it just comes right out um, of course hasn't been extruded so it's not melted in there um, and uh, once I get the wiring hooked up, I'll have connectors on the wiring, and then I can just basically, I can have different types of hot ends and tool heads and whatnot that I can just swap in and out of this thing really, really easily. Um, it's it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, so this is nothing unless I actually demonstrate it. So here we go. Here's some Z movement. Straight up Z. So let's... Move that down. Let's jog this baby around. Let's get a close up here. It just it glides smoothly on the ball bearings, but it doesn't um it's not so loose as to introduce backlash into it. Um, I mean, it is literally just the perfect uh, pivoting joint. Um, there's so many advantages to it. And this is really not that hard to make. Um, pop this off and talk a little bit about it here. All right, let's so make a huge mess of everything. So, I got here are these carbon fiber rods. Now, let me get away from my monitor. These carbon fiber rods, they have, you can see a magnet in the end of it. And uh, let me get a ball bearing so I can show you what happens here. And so, my desk is quite a mess as you can see. Ball bearings just kind of fit right in here. Let's see if I can focus on this better. There we go. And they just pivot right in there, no problem. Um, they're just held in there by the neodymium magnets, which I actually have a few of hanging off of my this bearing here on my Mendel Max 2. These are the in I believe N52 neodymium magnets. Not very expensive, but they're incredibly strong. You don't want to play with these too much. You'll pinch a finger pretty bad. Um, but let's take a look at the U joint, uh, the effector, I should say. Um, so here it is in its glory focus it. Um, it's printed. I've got a J-head hot end in it right now. Um, theoretically you could put any groove mount hot end in here. Um, I've noticed that the groove mounts are not all completely standard. Um, uh, HP's chest hot end uh, has a slightly different uh, a width groove. Um, E3D hot end has a, a little bit different of a width groove. But the way this one's designed, um, as long as it can fit this this uh, slightly thinner quarter uh, inch plywood um, this cap here and the screws will hold it together you know to the top part of the groove um, I laser cut these wood pieces myself on my laser cutter uh, the purple stuff is printed so and that's just the effector and it just it, it, it's, it's simple and, and elegant I really I really like this mod so and then of course these are the arms and they replace the uh, the uh, uh, this piece here that used to connect for the U joints. 
has these nice uh, pivoting action going on there. And that's just the best part is if one of these arms is not right, like the trick to this mod is getting these arms all identical lengths. And I think I've got them pretty much identical. There was one that looked like maybe it was 0.1 millimeter too tall. Um, it was really hard to tell because when you try and line them up together, the magnets, because of the way I've, <laughs> I didn't really think of the polarity of the magnets when I put them in, so they kind of repel each other, so it's hard to hold them together to measure. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I get my Rostock Max up and running with the magnet mod here in a couple days. So, thanks for watching.